What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a QA. and a I'm going to be answering all your questions. We got a lot of new people on the channel, so I want to make sure that you guys know me well. So if I already showed you in my last video all the animals and everything, introduce you to everybody here at Shadows Reptiles. Now I'm going to be talking about me a little bit. Obviously we're going to be answering questions about the animals and all that too. Uh, I haven't even looked at the questions that much. I've glanced over some of them, but I'm gonna see all the questions right now. I'm gonna turn off the filter for the snapping turtle so that you guys could hear me better. All right, so we're gonna start off with the questions under the YouTube video first, then I'll do the Instagram questions later on. And by the way, I don't really have an upload schedule, but I do up, I've been uploading a lot because of the, of the quarantine since I don't really have much to do. I was actually gonna skip today because I had kind of a headache, but I just took some pills and I'm feeling a little bit better. So uh, I'm gonna try my best to be entertaining for you guys and make the video. So let's see what questions we have here. All right, and the first question is by my cousin, Jessica. So shout out to her. Thank you for watching all my videos and always supporting me. And her question is, how did you fall in love with snakes? Um, it's pretty simple. My grandfather, he bought me a bunch of snakes when I was little. I had five snakes in his house. Had three ball pythons, a corn snake, albino corn snake, and a black Mexican king snake. And this girl wants to leave. I guess she doesn't want to be part of the video. And yeah, I basically just fell in love with all my animals, with all reptiles because of my grandfather. I used to also really like dinosaurs. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people that like reptiles also used to have or really used to like dinosaurs when they were kids as well. We, we all had pretty much the same childhood. We all used to love animals. And I realize that more every time when I see uh, pictures and like videos of the other people in this community when they were little. They all, we all had pretty much the same childhood. So yeah, that's how I fell in love with reptiles. The, same, the next question is gonna be by my other cousin. Shout out to him, Logan. He said, if I would ever get any comedians, I've actually had two comedians in the past. I'm gonna put this girl back because she does not like being in my YouTube videos. She's freaking out. I don't really handle her too much, but yeah, she's great. I love her. She's a really big snake. This is my, one of my, this is my biggest snake. And I really like her. I've always wanted a big snake. And I definitely want to get a bigger one. Don't, don't tell my parents. I've had a couple chameleons in my life. I took in some rescues, uh, but I don't plan on getting any more anytime soon. I'm definitely not going to be buying any, but if I get any rescues, I'll probably keep them. All right, the next question is, I see you have a scorpion. Do you have any interest? in getting tarantulas in the future too. Um, this scorpion, I got him at a pet shop near me. He wasn't too expensive. And I've been thinking about getting a scorpion. I've had two in the past, other than this one, the same species, uh, emperor scorpions. And I've also had a lot of tarantulas in the past. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any tarantulas anytime soon, but it's definitely a possibility because I do like them. Do you plan on breeding any hybrid leopard sulcata tortoises? I do not plan on breeding any hybrid tortoises or any hybrids at all. If I do hybrids, it might be snakes. I do have the, the Aru green tree python and the bee green tree python, and then I got the coastal carpet python and the jungle carpet python. Uh, they're not really gonna be hybrids because they're the same species, but they're different localities. They come from different parts of the same uh, country. What do you plan on doing with cuddles? Cuddles is the spiny tailed iguana that I got from Catch em All Fishing. He's a wild caught iguana. Oh, we're probably going to be getting a lot of questions about him. So what do I plan on doing with him? Right now, I'm going to keep him in the little cage. That, I mean, it's not that small, but in the cage that I have him in now, you guys probably saw last video. Um, but I can't really make any nicer enclosures for him now because of quarantine. Definitely, the, the cages are all right. It's not like t a bad cage or anything, but I definitely want to get him into something nicer in the future. And Cuddles is probably never going to be a tame iguana because these alone, the spiny tailed iguanas, they have a reputation for being uh, aggressive lizards. I've never kept any of them, so I don't know from experience. But this guy being wild caught as an adult male, spiny tailed iguana, he's probably never going to be friendly at all. Might be uh, less aggressive in the future, but he'll probably never be handleable. When did you start keeping reptiles? I don't know exactly, but like I said earlier, my grandfather got me a lot of reptiles when I was younger. I say when I was about two, three years old, I've had animals my whole life. So that's the reason why I have all these animals today is because my grandfather got me all these animals when I was younger. And then when we got, uh, we moved on, my parents did the same thing in this house. So thanks to them, I love these animals now. How many of the leopard tortoises are you planning on keeping? 
I'm planning on growing them out so that I could get a group in the future because these guys are hard to find as adults, let alone adults that could be kept here in Florida because of the humidity. So I'm gonna say about 10 of them, not these 10 that I got because I'm gonna be selling them first and then I'm gonna get a whole group and keep them, grow them out. And I'm probably gonna be trying to get two different genetics so that I get uh, to keep the males from one group and the females from another. How old were you when you got Tank? Tank is my Sulcata tortoise. And I don't know exactly, I was a little kid, but I, I usually say about three years old. You sh this isn't a question, but it says you should get a frilled neck lizard. Um, those, I've been actually looking into those. Those are really cool lizard, and I do plan on getting them. Probably not anytime soon, though. Another one that I really want to get are caiman lizards. I really like those. Are you going to do an animal giveaway when you reach 10,000? I'm not too sure if I'm going to be doing any more giveaways, uh, but maybe in the future I might. Out of all your pets, who are your top three favorites? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Tank, uh, Aru, which is my green sheep python, she's right here, and the Cuban rock iguanas. The next question is, are you ever gonna expand and get fish? I'll tell you what, I'll go get some fish right now and I'll put them in with a snapping turtle. Let's go do that. A gator would not be able to sneak up on you right now. All right, so there are all our new fish acclimating. And I put this little show in there so that they could get in and they'll be able to hide from this beast right here. And I don't think he's gonna be eating them too much. We'll see if he eats any of them, but I don't think he's gonna eat them. Uh, if anything, he might eat the bigger ones if you could even catch them, because he's a little slow. A lot slower than the fish for sure. These fish are really fast, but we'll see. When Tank was one or two years old, was he already outdoors and do you feed him daily then? Uh, Tank has been outdoors his whole life. I've never kept him indoors. Um, I don't know if we fed him daily because I was a little kid. My grandfather was the one that fed him. I'm sure he fed him daily. Um, he was feeding him a lot of mulberry leaves and things like that because we were on a farm. So he had all those trees growing and the mulberry tree was actually right next to his enclosure. So I'm sure he ate a lot of that. Since you're in Florida, are you allowed to just catch wild reptiles and such and keep them? Sorry for the dumb question. I know Kudos is wild caught, but just wondering. Uh, that's not a dumb question, actually. The thing about Kudos is that it's an invasive iguana. You can't just go and catch uh, native wildlife, uh, for example. You can't, I mean, you definitely can. Uh, just don't get caught by the law enforcement. But uh, you can't be taking native wildlife out of the out of it. Like let's say I go and catch an alligator I'll definitely get in a lot of trouble for that um, But invasive species like um, maybe green iguanas tegus, uh, Cuddles the spiny tailed iguana uh, things like that people or they they don't mind it as much other invasive species like Burmese pythons Nile monitors they can't be kept because they are um, illegal to keep as pets here in Florida. Do you still have the hingeback tortoise? I do not have the hingeback tortoise anymore. I rehomed him to a group, uh, to a friend of mine that has a group of hingeback tortoises and he was trying to breed them. Uh, so now he's in like a small group, a small colony of tortoises. Uh, he's trying to get some babies, so hopefully that works out for him and maybe we'll get some of those babies in the future. Do you recommend having an iguana as a pet and how big of a cage can you keep a baby iguana in? Um, I rec that depends on what you're into. If you like iguanas, sure, go for it. Uh, there's a lot of different types of iguanas. Some get huge, some stay smaller. So you're just gonna have to uh, do some research, find out what species works for you. And he said, how big of a cage can you keep a baby iguana? And that also depends on the species. I'd say get um, definitely more than a 10 gallon. I'd say maybe 20 gallons or uh, as big as you can. Uh, for him, obviously nothing too crazy because you want to make sure that you keep him in a smaller environment so that you could tame him up easier. But uh, I'd say a little bit bigger than a 10 gallon. Maybe if it's like a really small baby, you could keep him in a 10 gallon for a while. But uh, I'd say go into like maybe 20, 30, 40 gallons so that you can, I don't really know too much about aquariums. I don't even know if those are made 30 gallons, but um, yeah, that way you'll be able to keep the enclosure a little bit longer because they do grow pretty quick. Are you thinking about doing the multi-terrain idea? And if so, would you get an axolotl? lot of the multi-terrain idea is what I was talking about in one of my previous videos that I wanted to make an aquatic part up here and then like a land thing on the top. And I'm definitely considering it. I'm probably not gonna do it now because of quarantine, but maybe in a couple months I'll be able to do that. And 
would you get an axolotl? I've been, I thought about getting an axolotl in the past. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be getting one anytime soon because those require a uh, really specific care. The water would need to be pretty cool, which actually, since it's indoors, it'll be fine. So it's definitely a possibility. I don't know if I'm going to be getting one though. All right. So those are all the YouTube questions, at least the ones that I saw. I don't know if some of them might have gotten uh, blocked by YouTube, but those are all the ones that I saw on here. And now on Instagram, uh, I'm going to start off with the, the first question that I got. I'm going to go from the bottom up. So depending on when you sent it, uh, yours would be in this video too. So my Hermes tortoise does not seem to drink. I do give Sheldon lots of cucumbers and lettuce though. I recommend that you soak your tortoise for about 15 minutes a day and he'll probably drink if you do that. I don't know if you're already doing that. If he's not drinking, then he's still getting hydration from the cucumbers and the lettuce. So there's no worries. As long as you're providing the water, he's not gonna just dehydrate for no reason. He obviously knows when he needs the water, so he'll drink it as he needs it. Why do you have so many turtles? I actually only have one turtle, uh, which is the common snapping turtle, but I'm sure he was talking about the tortoises. And the tortoises, I get a lot of rescues and I also breed them. And I don't know if he's talking about the babies. I also breed the baby, or I produce the babies, so I got a lot of babies as well. Has your dog mated with the tortoises? I sure hope that she hasn't. I have never personally seen her doing that, but It'd be very weird if that happened, if we get some pug sulcata hybrids. Why did you start your YouTube channel? What was your inspiration? So I've always had reptiles. I never actually started social media or anything for them until 2018, more or less. And I started my YouTube channel because I watched this guy called Camp Cannon. Uh, shout out to him. And I, I really liked his videos and I wanted to do something like him. And I also wanted to start breeding the animals or yeah, breeding the sulcatas and the and all the tortoises and all the animals. And I can't sell the babies without an audience uh, so that I need to reach more people in order to be able to find homes for these animals. Because if I'm producing 200 babies a year like I am now and I have nobody to buy them, I'm just gonna have too many babies. So that's why I started it. I needed somewhere to be able to sell these animals. What's the most challenging about having sulcatas? Um, the sulcatas are, they're pretty simple pets. Here in Florida, you could keep them outside year round. Uh, it does get a little cold sometimes. My adults, they're outside year round. I know a lot of people bring them inside, uh, but they're fine. I've had them outside since Tank was this big. He's used to being outside even when it gets down to 40 degrees. Never been sick. He has perfect health, uh, no issues with him at all. So I just keep them outside. They're pretty much the simplest animals that I have. They just stay outside, eat the grass, and I just feed them a couple times a week, different things like leaves, uh, cactus, and Missouri. So very simple. Now, if you had, if you were in a colder climate, they'd be a, more of a pain because you would have to bring them inside when it gets too cold. How much for the turtles? I actually have three types of tortoises for sale at shadowdriptiles.com. Uh, the cheapest one starts at 135 and they go up to 250 and that includes shipping already. So... Uh, if you're interested in buying some type of tortoise, lizard, or another type of reptile, right now I don't have any snakes, but I'll probably have some pretty soon. Make sure that you go to shadowsreptiles.com. How long have you been breeding the tortoises? Uh, I've been breeding tortoises since 2018. That was the first year that I got eggs. What is one species you would like to have, but due to state laws, you cannot have? Um, in Florida, it's getting a lot stricter to keep animals um, back in like the 80s. Uh, you were able to keep pretty much everything and if you already had it when all these laws came in you automatically got a permit well you had to sign up apply for it and all that but you didn't have the requirements that you do now uh, now it's much of more of a pain one animal that i really want to get are some type of crocodilians uh, my favorite are dwarf caimans and i also want to get american alligators but uh, i can't do that now because of my property it's only, it's not two acres so i'm not able to get them yet that was actually a pretty good question. Thanks for that question. Uh, what tips would you give for someone looking to start a reptile breeding business? Uh, make sure you get something that you could handle. There's a lot of animals that produce too many eggs and there's some animals that are gonna be hard to take care of if you have a lot of them. Uh, so make sure you get something that you could take care of. Uh, you gotta think about what if you can't sell the babies. There's a fly on my face. If you can't sell the babies, what are you gonna do? So you gotta keep that in mind. Tortoises, they're very simple. If I had 100 tortoises, 200 tortoises, I could take care of them very easily. 
uh, so I can take care of all the animals that I produce long term. So you got to keep that in mind before you do anything. Have you ever had a tortoise die? I've had babies die um, that were inside the egg still, some that cracked the egg a little bit and didn't make it, but that's it. Why are turtles so hard born? I'm guessing you mean the shell why it's hard and it's actually not completely solid right off. I mean, yeah, it's solid, but it's not completely hard right off the start. When tortoises hatch out, they actually hatch out folded and they open up as they absorb their yolk sac. They kind of look like fortune cookies when they come out and then they start opening up as they hatch and that's what cracks the egg. So they're not completely hard and the bottom of the shells is also going to be soft for the first 6 to 12 months. What's your favorite animal of all time? I honestly don't know. I'd say probably, I really like rhinos. I'd say probably some type of crocodilian, maybe a... Maybe either a dwarf caiman or an alligator. Those are probably my favorite animals. What's the most difficult thing about being a tortoise parent? Probably one, this would be being a breeder, not if you just have a pet tortoise. But when I, usually the tortoises, they lay the eggs in the mornings or at night. The redfoots lay at night sometimes. But um, they always lay in the mornings. And the bad thing about that is that I'm in school during the mornings. So I sometimes miss clutches, so that's something that really sucks. Is there a difference in behavior between male and female tortoises? Uh, yeah, the males are sometimes more dominant, like they'll fight other tortoises. But this also happens with females when they're gravid. Other than that, there isn't too much of a difference. Do you like bananas? Yeah, I mean, bananas are alright. I usually feed them more to my animals than myself, but I do eat them. How long have you had red foot tortoises? Um, I don't know exactly, but I can figure that out real quick. All right, I've had him for eight months. I got him a little bit before July 3rd. I know that because this is the YouTube video I uploaded on them. So it was about July last year. Um, this guy said, what about the gamma lizards? Oh, what about them? They're all right. I'm not going to be getting any of them. There's a bunch in my yard. They're invasive here. Look right there, there's an agama. What you guys were just talking about in the video. That's a male red-headed agama. So yeah, I'm about to feed cuddles. See how that works. And I've never actually been able to catch one. I haven't really tried too much, but yeah, they're pretty fast. How much percentage will baby tortoise die when you ship it long distance customers? Uh, long distance would be California for me because I only ship in the continental US. And so far it's been a 0% chance. I've never had any tortoise die during shipping. So um, yeah, 0%, but it definitely is possible. Uh, I haven't experienced it myself. How old is Tank? Tank is about 17 years old. I don't know exactly though. When about invasive species, which one is better? Kill them or keep them as pets? Um, some you can't keep as pets like the Burmese pythons and the Nile monitors. So you would legally have to kill them if you catch them. And others, there's like iguanas and yeah, mostly iguanas, red-eared sliders. There's a lot of invasive species. And if you can't keep them as a pet and give them a good home, it's better just to kill them because it's worse to torture the animal than uh, to just take its life uh, humanely and make it quick for them. I've never killed one of these animals myself, but I don't really catch them either. I don't go my, out of my way to catch them. And usually when I do catch them, like let's say the iguana that I rescued in the pool, he, he fell in the pool when it was really cold, so when that happens, They'll go into like shock. So I pulled it out of the pool and I found a new home for it. So you definitely don't want to uh, give it a home that is going to be bad for it. If you're going to mistreat the animal, just kill it. It's going to be simpler that way. What would be another tortoise species that you would like? I want to get all the tortoise species, uh, but my favorite one is the radiated tortoise. I would love to have some radiated tortoises. Do you ship tortoises to Europe? I only ship tortoises in the continental US. What other plants besides cactus and hibiscus can redfoot tortoises eat? Um, I have a, a video on what you should feed your redfoot tortoises. Uh, you should definitely check that out so that you can see what I feed my tortoises. A couple plants that you could feed right off the bat would be uh, mulberry leaves, banana leaves, although mine don't like banana leaves too much. Uh, you can feed them haze, you can feed them clovers, you can feed them dandelions. You and there's a lot of other things you can feed. I'd recommend you switch up a food list for them, but I don't know a lot of them off the top of my head. Those are just the ones that I actually feed them. Can you show the difference of a male and female leopard tortoise or make a whole video on them? Uh, I definitely can't right now because I don't have any adults. I just have the babies, but I have a video on how to sex the sulcatas. It's pretty much the same thing for the leopard tortoises. 
the males would have a longer tail than the females. The females would have shorter tails. But yeah, that's the last question. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that I answered your question. If I didn't answer your question, it's because I didn't see it because I answered all the ones that I saw. I just updated all my editing stuff. So hopefully there's no more glitches and it works a lot easier. I was getting really frustrated. I use Premiere Pro, which is apparently the, the best thing for editing, but um, I just updated it. So hopefully it works out better. It's been super glitchy these past couple of days. And it's been a pain to use. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.